Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a very different video to our usual FIFA 21 content and that is because we are jumping on the phones today. We are going to be taking a look at the new craze which is iOS 14 custom home screens. I've seen a lot of people doing these over the past probably week now and it's really caught my eye. I thought what can we do? What sort of theme can I have? And I thought what better way to do it than actually do a FIFA 21 theme almost like a football theme. I haven't gone too crazy on the actual design because I'm not trying to say I'm a creative genius. I'm really not. I tried to keep it, keep it as simple as possible and you guys can probably do a much better job of it than me. But what I'm going to be doing in today's video is showing you the widgets that I've used, where I got them from, how we created the custom icons. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, smash a like down below, subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content and let's just get into it. We actually have the phone here and yeah, as you can see, this is my regular home screen here with the weather, activity, all of the colors. I mean, it works fine. It looks fine to me. But if we scroll across, if you look at this, this is what I've created this morning. A FIFA 21 theme. We've got Wissam Ben Yedder. It flips through him and Mbappe. You can have a number of pictures which you might want different footballers, things like that. That app is called Photo Widgets. I'm not going to go full detail into actually these widgets, but very easy, very, very easy, guys. Once you download the Photo Widget app, it talks you through it. All you would do is just to add it to your screen. You would hold down on any of the icons on the screen and then hit the plus button. Very simple. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to do this already, but if I wanted to put any of these uh, icons in, for example, this one, I just tap on it, choose the size that I want to have it, and then we have it on our home screen. So very, very easy to do. You can work around what size of what sort of layout you want. This layout I saw and it looks really clean. You've got the uh, day, you've got the clock and you have the image of whatever you would like as well. Here's the fun part though, the icons, the custom icons. I've never had this in, um, well, I've, I've had this before on my iPhone, but previously you had to have a jailbreak, jailbreak device. On this though, you can just edit it through the shortcuts. We'll talk about that in a second, but the Twitter, the YouTube, Footbin, Twitch, all of these apps which I use very, very uh, heavily to do with FIFA 21 and we even have the FIFA 21 companion app. Well, it's not really a companion app, it opens the Foot uh, 20 companion app, but it looks neat. If you guys want to use that, any of these icons that you see in today's video, all the uh, downloads will be in the uh, link in the description. So you won't have to worry about creating any of these ones that I've already created. But I'll talk about towards the end of the video how you can create your own because obviously there's a lot of apps and I haven't covered all of them. The rest of the things that we've uh, covered, as you can just see, it's just mostly the icons and the theme. Nice purple background, you can choose whatever background you want. I just wanted to contrast the black uh, icons with the purple background. But now we are going to talk about actually how you create these custom icons. So you go to shortcuts on your phone, um, maybe search for it if you don't have it, you'll be able to download it. Go to the plus button on the top right and then add action. What I want to do now is open app, open app here, click on that and then you press choose. Choose which app you want, so for example I want Safari. Safari is then the app that we will choose, but this is the important part. You hit the three blue dots top right, add to home screen. Now we have the option whether we want to choose to have any text below the icon. I personally don't, I think it looks cleaner without any sort of uh, text. So we'll delete that, press on the bottom left photo, choose photo, and then you can see here, I have all the icons that I've added to my phone. Find the Safari one, click on that. All of the icons are the perfect size for the um, home screen. And then I'll just hit add and then done. Now, if we go back to our home screen, we have two Safari icons because, uh, well, we actually have three because I've done this tutorial before, but we have three Safari icons you can see. Then you just repeat the process for every app that you wanted to have a special icon for. Very, very easy, guys, and it just allows you to have a custom locks, custom home screen. And uh, yeah, the FIFA 21 theme, I think it looks okay. So that's how you edit your home screen, how you add widget. This one here, Widget Smith, really, really easy to use. You can decide whether you want the date, the clock. You can add another small widget. You can click on it, customize, customize it in a number of different ways. So. You can see week 39, you can change the color if you wanted to, but I really like the black and white theme. I think red could look quite good. So if I wanted to save it as red, I would just edit it there. Go over to here, edit widget, 
then once that opens you'd go for small four because that's what it was called on the previous one now we should have the uh, Friday 25th in red which looks really really neat stands out pops out I think that's the cool thing about doing these home screens but yeah that's how we do it on the phone. Now I'll quickly show you how to actually make the icons on Canva. So guys, this is the website Canva, which I actually use to create the icons. You can use probably Photoshop, you can probably use uh, PowerPoint, Word, I don't know, but this is the best one, it's free. As you can see here, this is how I create all of the thumbnails, any Instagram content that you do see. And yeah, this is how I created all of the icons, which you have seen on my phone. What you want to do now, is the see the layout it's a nice square it's an instagram um size so if you don't know how to use canva what you would do is you go create design i'll type in instagram and then obviously it's 1080 by 1080 really really easy to use this background here is a fever 21 background just got this from google you just drag it on and literally it drops in you can choose to position it so if i wanted the dots if i wanted any part of it uh you just choose whereabouts you want it to be for the actual elements here which is your app icon what i would do is you would go here elements search for spotify it's really really good because it has all of the logos for most of the sort of things you would want camera safari if there is something maybe like google chrome or a different app it might not be on here you might need to search on google if you're um good with photoshop you'd obviously just fill it with the color that you wanted but we are just focusing on very very simple things today if we want Spotify, I'll just make it to the correct size. I'll then go to the colors and there we go. Just change the color to white and that is my Spotify icon that I would use on my phone. I would just then copy that up here, brand new page. We've got the same icon. What I would then do is uh, if I wanted maybe Xbox app, I don't know. Um, as you can see, these ones are pro. So maybe I would have to find one off Google. Maybe I want Twitch. So we go for the Twitch icon. We change the color here from purple to white and there we have it our two new icons which we would use on our home screen on our phones fit with the th uh, theme that we actually created if you want to change the color scheme that's more than up to you guys i'm sure that you guys can create much better home screens than me but that was just my attempt at creating a fifa 21 football sort of home screen on ios 14. hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash like down below subscribe for a lot more fifa 21 content yeah, bit of an unusual video, but hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next one.